Hey guys, welcome. My name is Hyper. And I want to welcome you to a very special player interview that I will be hosting. So we can learn more about the players participating in the Homies Extreme Demon Race. Quick note before we start. Upon request, Zelf has opted out of the competition due to other commitments and is choosing to play her level casually. There will be no insider coverage on, on her or any presented information. But any progress made on her level will still be posted and that she is still a contender to win this competition if she beats Killbot. All right, with that out of the way, let's welcome our players, Zay GMD and Blue Star. We're here today to ask you two some, some questions. We'll follow a simple format today. I'll ask one question, both of you can answer it, one after the other, starting with Zay. Are you guys ready? Yes. So, yeah. let's jump right into it. Shall we? When did you start playing Geometry Dash? You can give us a year or an update. Is there anyone or anything in particular that inspired you to start? Alright, so, uh, hi guys, it's Zay. I started playing Geometry Dash around uh, 2014, that was 1.6, and I got my account four years ago, so a little bit later, but I started on mobile then, and I just saw the game float around online, and I really wanted to try it, because I thought I was really good at rhythm platformers, I used to play Guitar Hero back in the day, so I was like, eh, hell yeah, let's do it, and that's when I started playing the game. And Blue Star? When I started playing, it was an interesting time. My cousins were visiting, and my older cousin gave me his iPad and said, here, beat this, and it was Stereo Madness. And I, he made me play it for like 40 minutes until I beat it, and then I've been hooked on the game since and have been playing it on and off ever since that year. Pretty much how I got my start. What is your current demon count? If you can recall the ratio of any completed demon, demons by difficulty, feel free to share that as well. Okay, so my demon count right now is 174. Uh, they consist mostly of easies and mediums, like to be expected. I have, I think, six insanes and two extremes and maybe 10 or 15 hard demons. Can't quite remember. But yep, that's my demon count. Uh, blue? Um, mine's pretty similar. I have 116 demons, all mostly easies and mediums. I have nine hard demons, and I've recently jumped up to do two insane demons, and hopefully Aki will be my first extreme. Well, well, that is certainly interesting. Okay. Great players always have a starting triumph before they begin their path to greatness. What was your first demon? Do you remember where you beat it and your reaction at all? Okay, so my very first demon was the Lightning Road. I remember uh, the night before, I was literally up until three, like, researching the easiest demon, um, most man manageable demons, and I was just looking through the level list because I wanted to get one done so bad so I could have that emblem on my profile, and I finally found the Lightning Road and I grinded it. And I got that done, uh, the day after that search, I think, and it was exhilarating. I was jumping up and down, I was screaming. I'm pretty sure my stepdad came upstairs, but yeah, it was great. Uh, Blue? Um, mine was pretty similar for my first demon. As to be expected, it was the Nightmare. Um, for that one, I didn't really have much of a reaction, because I was actually rushed to leave the house when I beat it, so I was just trying to get a last few attempts in, and then I somehow got it. Cool. And that's pretty much all there is about that. Okay, next question. Anyway, okay. When <laughs> okay, did okay. you switch to PC? And what is your refresh rate? Are okay, you in the so... 60 hertz club or the 144 hertz club? I'm neither, actually. I, I switched to PC um, two years ago, if I can recall. I was a 60 hertz, and then I got Mega Hack and switched to 240, and I've been on 240 ever since. And I just had a, a hardware uh, switch recently because I got a new laptop, a Nitro 5 from Acer, and I play at 288 now. Nice. 
That is very, very, very nice. Blue? Um, I switched to PC back in 2019, and I am part of the lowly 60 hertz gang, so I cannot play Bloodbath yet. Well, that is sad for you. I'm it sorry is. that you can't beat one of the hardest levels in the game. That is an understatement, because I know on the demons list, it is, like, not on it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you're right. But, then again, Bloodbath was one of the original demons that put Gyeongpi Possibly Dash the most on the map when it comes to rhythm games. Game. So, I mean, it does have that going for it. Yeah. Rest in peace, Michigan. Yeah. Definitely. We'll spike for the, for the homies. Next question. All right. What is your strongest and weakest game modes? Zay? All right. So for me, I'd have to say the spider and the ship. I don't really have an issue with the wave. The wave is actually one of my strongest game modes, and the ball as well, and the UFOs. Pretty smooth for me. I mean, screw robot. Robot is buggy, but I have a harder time with ship, honestly. Uh, blue. Um. I, it's kind of hard to say. I'm mostly pretty balanced game mode wise. I am a little bit worse at robot than all the other ones, and I think I'm on the stronger side for ball and cube. Well, I mean, I'm in the same boat with Zay. Wave's my favorite game mode out of all of them. I mean, Spider can go straight to hell, and uh, Robot can Spider. go fuck itself. So, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, fair, enough, fair enough. Fair enough. What types of demons do you like to beat or work on? What types of gameplay could use more improvement? Okay, so in terms of demons I like to beat, I really like speed demons, like the really fast ones. Gameplay's pretty straightforward. As long as you can click fast enough and you know how to sight read, it shouldn't be an issue. But I absolutely detest memory. Um, Zelf's not here with us today, but she loves that kind of gameplay, going down and breaking layouts into pieces she can manage so she can go to the main copy of the levels and slay them, so she's working on Killbot. But yeah, I could use work on memory. Uh, how about you, Blue? I'm pretty similar. I like the fast stuff. Um, apparently I'm pretty good at timing since I'm playing Accu. I didn't think that was a skill I had, but apparently it is. And... I also am not a memory person. I cannot handle those types of levels at all. Well, it seems like both of you are in the same boat. There is one level that I think of when it comes to timing, speed, rhythm. It's called something to do with high score because the, the song uses this high oh, score. Oh, new record. New record, right? Yeah, new yeah, record is that great. One. New, re yeah. new record. Yeah. That yeah, one's that cool. Good. Well, it's all safe, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, I, I want to learn like that someday. It's so probably going to be my first extreme if I ever get into it. Oh, heck yeah, man, go for it. Is it entry level? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's entry. It's an in, in entry extreme. It's pretty easy. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. Next question, my dudes. All right. Do you have a favorite demon that you've beaten? You can give me one that you have in your bucket list, too, if you want. What made it stand out to you? Zay? All right. Okay, so my favorite demon of all time, it's a bit underwhelming in terms of difficulty, but it's Abkehoben. It's an easy demon by Linus, O2, and more. It's a collab based entirely on the concept of rising up, because Abkehoben means rise up in German, and the level's full of beautiful art. It's all cloud-themed. There's stars, um, there's a sun with a face on it, exploding fireworks, Chinese rooftops. It's really gorgeous. And the logo, um, how they made it fade in, it looked like someone wrote it on the screen. It was great, but yeah, that level's always uh, on my warm-up list whenever I open the game. Uh, Blue? My favorite level that I've beaten has got to be Crystal Splash by the Paradox team. It was actually a suggestion from Zay that I would try and beat that, and I fluked it from 54 and it had some of the most fun gameplay I have ever played, and it was just overall one of the best experiences I've ever had at the level. I mean, one of my favorite levels just to watch in general is Boom Slayer. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Of, it's beautiful. Yeah. The gameplay is synced, and song, song work, a lot, especially the song work. Oh yeah, like, you made custom yeah. SFX. He outdid himself. It's the yeah. theme perfectly. 
Yeah, Boom I just Kitty like how himself. Boom Kitty they outdo, worked on the himself. level and the song at the same time. Like they made the song and the level for each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Next question. Do you have any demons or levels that you hate with every fiber of your being? If so, why? Zay? Okay, so I'd have to say Deception Dive. I beat it, like, in October. Yep, <laughs> Deception Dive. It's, it was an absolute nightmare to work on. It was just, it took up so much of my time, and I just couldn't do it. And it actually caused me to quit the game until I met Zelfin Blue. So there was that going for it, like a level, if it's that bad to make you quit, it's a pretty bad level. But yeah, it's extremely inconsistent, like it's almost 5 star at the start, and then after Platinum, it just evolves into chaos and it becomes really hard. And I actually started it on 60 hertz. so, uh, Blue? Um, my worst experience at the level is not as extreme, but Breakthrough by Heinz is a piece of complete garbage it's full of janky 1.9 fake gameplay and really awkward and not that optimized timings and i think the worst part was that i died to the very last spike and then it took me another three weeks before i was able to beat it and i think my hatred for it showed itself when i beat it and my reaction was to just start swearing at it and close the game yeah, you seem pretty angry. I watched it, yeah. Oh, I was pissed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I remember from Zay's reaction video when he beat this up and dive, he was jumping around the room screaming like a child. Yeah, but... Zach was in call. I was crying. It, it was it was yeah. intense, but yeah, it was, it was yeah. great. Well, well, I think we should go to the next one. What demon took you the most attempts to beat? Alright, so same as the previous answer, Deception Dive took me 35,000 attempts and two years to beat. I had really fast progress on it, like on the first week I went from 25 all the way to 60, and then I just pooped out. No progress until about a year and a half later, uh, when I kicked into it again because of Zelf, I decided to try and beat it, and it took me even longer after that. And around the two-year mark, I just beat it randomly on a night in October when I was in call with a friend. And it's over, it's done with, and I'm sick of that level. I'll never play it again. Uh, Blue. Um, the most attempts I've spent on a level is probably my current hardest demon, which is Layak, an insane demon. I think I spent around seven or 8,000 attempts in about a month grinding that level, and overall it was pretty fun. Wow. I mean, from what I've heard, Layak is a very... I mean, it's very timing-based. Definitely, so yeah. I could there definitely was a few see the stuff. attempt count rise for that one. And it's pretty fun. It's another so thing to say about Zay's level of uh, G Deception Dive, do not play Burgerax Scorpion near him or else he will explode. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like a Geometry <laughs> Dash character. The song yeah. is actually good. Play like Earthquake the, instead. Uh, it's a much better song. Earthquake is a better song <laughs> for the level. But yeah, if you play that song near me, I'll probably like pass out involuntarily, so don't do it. Exactly. Next question. Do you have any content creators on the scene that you currently idolize, look up to for inspiration? What drew you to them in terms of their personality or video style? Alright, so I absolutely love EVW's content. Uh, he's uh, one creator that I'm going to single out here. There's plenty of other good ones like Aeon and Juniper, but EVW uh, was the reason I beat Deadlock. I actually looked at his video and I loved his content, like the whole uh, are you ready for some badassery thing, and he was just really bright and really happy-go-lucky, and when he failed, it was the funniest thing ever. He'd swear so much and he'd start screaming, but that video led me to his other videos where he'd do these challenges on the Rob Top levels, like eating lemon slices and making gross milkshakes. It was just so entertaining watching those early ones. And for his newer content where he's beating like harder stuff, it's just so impressive to watch him grow. So hopefully good things coming from him soon. Uh, Blue? Um, I've watched a lot of GD content creators over the years, but like I've never really, I guess, been inspired or looked up to one in particular. I've kind of just been in and out of the scene all the time and just looking at different levels that people are beating. And I have beaten levels that I've seen on other channels, 
but there's no one in particular that I can single out. It's all right. I mean, I'm partly in the same boat with Blue. I mean, I don't really care for the Geometry Dash creator itself. I like I like looking for the level. I like watch more I more like watching the level with the song no with no commentary. Oh, like verification, like, like verifications, like Nexus, like Shady, or, oh yeah, Nexus um, actually just the, yeah, just Nexus. the Geometry Nexus. Dash, I'll single just out the Nexus. Geometry Dash uh, player. Like those types of channels, just because they just play the levels that people want to yeah. see. I'm actually gonna and... go back on my words and single out Nexus because he is a beast of a player and he makes yes. really consistent content. Yeah, and the Definitely. cool thing about his videos are you never hear his voice unless it's an extremely difficult extreme that he's been working on, then he'll have his reaction, so that's mm -hmm. great. But otherwise, he's just a showcase channel, and I love watching his stuff. So, yeah, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm on your boat there. Do you have any favorite musical artists that have their work featured in levels? I think I know both of your answers, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to milk that, what you just said. And I'm gonna say Temanite because his music is absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad it's in the game. So yeah, top two uh, artists, Temanite, Prio, they're extremely talented creators, and Definitely. their music is in some pretty notable levels. Like I do remember Rattlesnake being in my 40th demon. I'm pretty sure. Don't and, about Blas. And Blas, Unstoppable. I'm pretty sure that was. Yep. Yes. But yep, it's very very good music. Uh, Blue. Um, well, you took the Creo thing from me. I, that is my top GD artist for sure. I, like, most of his songs are songs that I enjoy. I have, like, a whole Spotify playlist of his songs that I listen to from time to time. And Temanite's also a very big one that I enjoy mm. because he's just got some really cool melodies and just yeah. his work is so clean. Yeah, didn't he go through a name change? He was known as Hyper Demented before, right? I'm pretty sure. Creo? Uh, on new yeah, counts, Creo. at least. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah. well, I, I mean, Geometry Dash has a very like special place in my heart, actually. I, I don't think I'd be actually listening to EDM if it wasn't for Geometry Dash in the first place. Yeah, same. I wouldn't I wasn't be really in that either. boat. I wouldn't even known about Temanite and, or any of his music if it wasn't for one featured level back in the day. I don't know if you oh. if you know what it is, eh? I'm trying was, uh, to remember, I know what you're talking about. High score by Danalex. By Danalex, yeah, it was a, it was a, oh, that, that was the was one star, level I yeah. played. I played that level, and like, I love this song. I just the fell Danalex in love with this level. And, <laughs> and I, no, no, I fell in love with Panda Eyes, because I thought, Oh, this guy's the guy that makes the music. And like, yeah, I was actually yeah, listening yeah. to like epic no, orchestra. No, but then I'm like, oh, his other music isn't the same. So, I mean, oh, who's the other guy that's tagged on this? Temanite. This is the stuff I want. This is the stuff mm -hmm. I want. Yeah. Yeah. Temanite is crazy. And Temanite I've just remembered great. a bit from the and past. Around 2017 and 2018, my music taste was just heavily into EDM. Um, Cold Breaks was another top. Oh, oh, Breaks. Cool Breaks is yes. amazing, dude. I yes. like a lot of his stuff. And yeah, still 10,000. 10,000 is a cool King, song. King Kick has some of the most... He has probably one, some of the most well-known songs. Definitely. Dash, with Time Leaper and uh, Explorers. Oh, yeah, that! Explorers oh, is going to be the new level um, yes. for 2.2. I, I think thing. one of my favorite... I don't think... I mean, in my top two, is got to be MDK. Ooh. MDK is great. Yeah. Finger it's my um, yeah. my favorite collab between my top two favorite artists, MDK and Space Invaders. Space Invaders, Space Invaders, Invaders is yeah, one of the best Space songs. Space Invaders, my favorite can't song. Argue. Can't argue. Best song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> song is best. Anyway, next question. This one long gone on for a little bit longer because I saw it and I'm like. Yes. <laughs> next question. This is a bit of a stretch. If Geometry Dash didn't exist in your game library, what game would you be grinding right now? All right, so I Dang. grind this one on the side. I grind this one on the side. Um, Apex, definitely a lot more on my radar. I mean, like over a thousand hours on it, I think, since I started like last year. But like Apex and other first-person shooters, 
like CSGO, those would probably be uh, on my list more if Get it wasn't it for Phantom G. Phantom Forces. And Phantom Forces by Stylus Studios. Yeah, I grind that one as well. Uh, if, you go, if you go really far back on this channel, you can yes, find oh my God. the AA12. Old, old Phantom Forces video. All my old for <laughs> Phantom Forces clips, Oh, yeah. boy. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty big Phantom Forces player as well. I play that a lot. Um... Other games Most of us met through lot. Phantom Forces, actually. Um, so. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. One of my biggest games that I've been grinding for years is Terraria. That's one of my all-time favorites. Definitely fun um, game. I played. I probably be a thousand playing a lot of Minecraft as well. Right now, I'm also yep. enjoying Valorant and some other games too. Yeah. Definitely, definitely all good picks. What do you have to say about any rising demon grinders or new players? Any sage advice for anyone looking to climb the ranks if you were in their shoes, after all? Alright, this is one where I want to take the first answer because I've fallen into this trap of not wanting to challenge myself with a big jump up in difficulty, and I mostly stuck to easy to medium demons and the occasional hard demon until Zay suggested that I should try Windy and then I beat it in just over 24 hours and realized that hmm, maybe I can do the harder stuff so never be scared to try an insane demon or go outside of what you think your skill set is yeah it's all about it, like you said it's all about going past your comfort zone, trying the hard stuff, watching videos, guide videos if the levels are really hard, and looking at other people's completions, seeing where the, their click patterns differ from yours. It's all about going out and experimenting, trying new things, and staying on top of your game. Just make sure you're dedicated, putting attempts in. And as long as you put the attempts in, you will beat that level sometime. Like it could be the next day, it could be the next week. You just have to keep going. Otherwise, you won't make any progress, and the only reason you won't make any progress is if you're not trying at all. So just make sure you're trying. That's all you need to do. Definitely a fun way to tell these newbies. <laughs> oh, they're not play newbies. this game. No. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean it that way to be mean. Yep, we all have our skill yeah. levels. Everyone has their own skill level. If you want to get up to some of the higher ranked players and get to up to being like the next nexus or the next like the next EVW, you, you have to switch, just, yeah. you just gotta take, ne I would say next space UK it. but I don't think anyone else is beating Wazaretta's their fourth demon. As their like fourth demon, yeah, that's crazy. Those people, they're not even human. Actually, like, no, golden as the golden is their fifth demon. I don't think that's yeah. gonna happen for a long but time. But if you want to climb to that, just keep trying, yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm, I mean, the player base is gonna strengthen and it's gonna become Yep, and levels yeah, are gonna yeah. get more and more difficult, more frame perfect. Just focus on where you are and grind your way up slowly. And um, but don't be scared to take a, a big time. jump every now and yep, then. Yep, don't be scared. How did you? I mean, I'm gonna start with this question a little bit of a story. When I first played Geometry Dash, I loved everything about it. I played the first few levels. I never really beat all the main levels, but I got the coins. And then I looked at the creator levels. Played those, got the coins there. Then I opened up the vault. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, I think I see where when I'm going. When did you. When did you first find out about the vault? And when did you. Did you try doing it on your own? Did you. And, or did you immediately try to do. Oh, like unlocking all the secrets in the game, like all the secret coins and all the icons and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you. Yeah. Did you. Do you find enjoyment about that? I mean, yeah, obviously, I found enjoyment in finding all the secrets, it was just another icon on the spreadsheet, but, like, finding all of them was the fun part, like, typing all the codes in, I was telling all my friends who played the game at the time, oh, you type in this code, and you get Finn from Adventure Time, I was like, oh my god, and it was just really cool finding the vault and un un unlocking everything, because I felt like I was progressing the game, and progression is a really important part about a game, because you feel accomplishment, um, but yeah, it was, it was great finding everything. And I actually found um, one of the secret coins accidentally. Like, I didn't know you had to, like, shuffle through all the Rob's Hop levels super fast to get the coin. And I was just, like, doing that for fun. And then I found it. I was like, what the hell is that? I click it. Mm -hmm. And coin. if you didn't know, you can get that on the light version. Yeah, you can that's get that on the light version oh, as well. Cool. This is a secret. Yeah. How about you, Blue? It's one of the uh, only colors you can get. <laughs> for the secrets, I mean, I mostly look them up to find out about them. But... 
it all kind of started when I saw a YouTube video on the Illuminati wave and was like, ooh, I want that being the 12-year-old oh, that, that I was. I remember that. I can't remember. It was, that wasn't Codebreaker. That's it, yeah, it was yeah. The, the whole math one. That was the hardest one for me. because I, uh, I just searched it up because I wanted the Illuminati wave because being that's 2016, me. that's when Illuminati memes were still funny. Yeah, Illuminati memes were fresh and you just wanted that wave, so. Yeah. Like oh, and the, oh, uh, Lenny, the Lenny face. Okay. Oh, the Lenny face. What icon. was your I, I favorite coat? Okay, sorry to intrude into everything that you guys are saying. I realize what my original question was going to be about. Your favorite code? What is your favorite code from any of the vaults? Lenny face. Oh man, Lenny Without face a was a good code. Um, I think my favorite code is probably Sparky, because that, that gave me a free coin. I cared more about stats than icons, and I wanted that coin. So, uh, Mr. Krabs, Ark Ark Ark, I wanted that coin, uh, Sparky. <laughs> Alright. Do you both have anything to say to each other before this about begins? Alright, I'm gonna take this one. Uh, right. Blue, I know you're an extremely gifted player. Um, you're capable of some like extreme difficulty jumps. I didn't even expect you to beat Wendy that fast, but I know you're good at this game, and I'm kind of int intimidated because of the first day of this challenge. You already got 83% on Aki. I'm gonna post that shortly after the interview. But you're getting through this pretty fast, and I'm worried about that, so I'm gonna stay on my radar, and um, Keep up to date on Heatwave because I know you're a dangerous competitor and I know I've backseat gamed on a few of your achievements by giving you suggestions, but we talked about that before and I don't think that's much of an issue, but yeah. No, it's not. That just made me realize that I can actually beat difficult levels. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad I pushed you there, bro, yeah, but too. just want to wish you luck. I will wish you luck as well. I know that when it comes to overall skill, you probably have more than me. You've beaten two extremes and this is going to be my first and also that this race is going to be extremely close because even though I have 83, you still have 75% and your runs through half of the level are way more consistent than mine. But we're all capable of flukes, it's just Definitely. in a Geometry Dash player's blood. You could beat a level from zero and you won't even realize you did it until five seconds later. Like, holy shit, I just beat a really hard level. Um, I did that with an insane a few weeks ago. 30 to 100 was probably the biggest fluke in history when it came to a demon. Otherwise, you just be daily levels in one attempt. It's really not an issue, but like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Blue. Good luck. So, all right. There you have it, folks. Two very talented players. Well, three counting south. Our ghost competitor. Vying for the achievement of a lifetime. Who will beat their extreme demon first? Stay tuned and keep an eye out for progress. In the meantime, fuel up your rocket ships. Get to that starting line, because let's get back on track. <laughs>